This is a quick video to show you how Xbox Cloud Gaming games perform on the Steam Deck. So there will be a link in the description that will show you how you can achieve this too. Um, but this is what it looks like once it's done. So I have a little Xbox Gaming Square that I can press and essentially what this does is it launches a Microsoft Edge version of Cloud Gaming. Um, so as you can see it's pretty seamless, it's right here once you've launched it up. Um, and I can pick any game that I want. So let's try something crazy. Let's start off by playing uh, Forza Horizon 5 on the Steam Deck. Now, obviously, this is a game that you can get just on the Steam Deck itself. Um, but obviously, if you started on Xbox or you want to transfer your saves or anything like that, um, or you don't want to download it onto the Steam Deck and you'd rather kind of just have it um, at a moment's notice, this is a viable option for you. So... Um, here it is, launching with Cloud Gaming, um, and we're kind of here to see, and we're here to see how it performs. So that's frame rate, kind of graphics quality, load times, everything like that. So hopefully this video will give you an idea of what we can achieve with Cloud Gaming. So the game loads up pretty seamlessly, um, and once we're in, we'll see how it performs. So now it's syncing the data across from the Xbox version of the game. So you can kind of um, pick up and play from wherever you left off. It's a really neat feature. And the load screen there was about 15, 20 seconds. So that's pretty good, I'd say. Pretty on par with maybe the Xbox Series S or something like that. And you can see here that we are now able to flick through the menus just as you would with an Xbox controller. So all the buttons are the same. Let's get driving and see how it runs. Now, obviously, the performance of these cloud gaming games directly depend on your internet connection. So if if you've got a less than optimal internet connection, they might be a little bit patchy. Um, but for me, I've got a 100 megabytes per second package. Um, I never get that. So I'm averaging around 30 to maybe 60 megabytes per second on my internet connection. And you can see here that it is quite smooth. Um, there's a little bit of juddering around. I'd say we're getting around 25 to 30 frames per second on this game. Um, and I think it is rendering at 10 ATP quality. And so as you can see, it's very playable. There is very little latency. It's hardly detectable, um, which is especially good in racing games. Um, you don't necessarily need to have the quickest latency in a racing game. I'm able to play this just fine. Um, and as for picture quality, well, it's really crisp, um, all the details still there. I'd say it's running at about medium settings, if I were to hazard a guess, um, when compared to a console version of the game. Uh, but it looks really good, especially on this screen that's a little bit smaller, um, and it runs pretty damn well. I'd, I'd feel pretty comfortable playing this for an extended period of time. So now I'm going to play this for about 30 seconds to a minute, just so that you can get a feel of what it feels like. Little bit of lag there. That's probably due to my internet. But for the most part, this is a pretty smooth game. So I've been Lou from Rider Games. Thank you very much for watching. And if you'd like to see me play any more games through Xbox Cloud Gaming, please let me know in the comments. See you next time.